So let's start by creating the project. Here we choose ASP.NET Core Web Application and of course make sure you are in Visual C Sharp directory. So Visual C Sharp .NET Core ASP.NET Core Web Application. And I'm just going to give it a name and click OK. And we are going to create an empty project because it's best to start with empty project when we are learning. Also uncheck configure for HTTPS. If you leave it on you'll be able to use both HTTP and HTTPS but for our purposes we'll simply go with HTTP only. One more very important thing make sure you select core 2.2 from the drop down here. If you are watching this and there is a newer version of .NET Core then you may want to work with that one but right now 2.2 is the newest version. And we don't need to change any authentication we can leave it as is which is no authentication at all. So let's click OK and our project was created. So let's see what was created for us. In Solution Explorer you can see that we don't have a lot of files and we have no folders at all. You may be used to seeing folders for models and controllers and such but not in the .NET Core when we create an empty project. We will create our own structure as we go. So the first file which is program CS, just open that and this one simply starts the application using the startup file. So when we look in the startup CS you can see that we have two methods configure and configure services. Currently configure services has nothing in it and configure directs the app to display text hello world. Now these two methods are crucial in .NET Core. All the middleware we add, all the interfaces and database services everything will be registered here. Now there's one more file that we have and that is appsettings.json so let's go to Social Explorer and open that one. And currently we see that the app uses warning level to display and log errors. We are in development mode which you can see in the startup file. If we go back to startup you can see that if we are in development which we are then we will use the exception page which would be the warnings and all. Alright let's run it and you see the text hello world and that's all that is on the page. In fact when we go to view page source it's just a text it's not even a paragraph or HTML or nothing. So that's all we have to work with right now but we're going to change that. Let's start.